For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem where you have the gear subjected to the two couple moments shown. Find the magnitude and the coordinate direction angles of the resultant couple moment. So basically, all you got to do is you got to break down these two uh, moments into Cartesian vector form. So how do we do that? Well, look at M1 and the direction it has, and you're given a triangle right here. You know that M1 has a C component going down right here. It has a X component going that way, and it has a Y component going that way. So how do you find these components? Well, with these two angles given right here, this 20 and this 15 degree angle. So let's work with M1. M1 is equal to. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to find the projection of M1 into the X and Y plane, which is this vector right here. Because once we find that vector, with that vector we can find the X and Y components. So how do we find that projection? Well, that's easy. All you got to do is M1 times the cosine of 20 degrees. And that gives you 37.6. Now we can find the X, the Y, 1, and the C. Now the X component is given by M1 xy the projection of m1 that we find in the x and y plane times the sine of 15 degrees and it comes out to be 9.73 the y is given by m1 xy that projection times the cosine of 15 degrees and that comes out to be 36.3 and the c is simply given by m1 not the projection by the whole vector times the sine of 20 degrees but realize that it's going down therefore it's negative and it comes out to be 13.7 and of course it's negative there's a negative over there I swear so now that we have the Cartesian vector form let's write it a little more formal at 9.73 in the I plus 36.3 in the J minus 13.7 in the K and now we got to find the same thing that we did for M2. M2, let's put it right here, M2 sits in the X and Y plane, therefore has no C component, plus zero in the K then. So all we got to find is the X and Y components. This is the Y component, and this is the X component. And as you can see, the X component is going to be negative right off the bat. So M2 in the X, M2 in the Y, and M2 in the C. In the C, I already told you it's zero. It has no magnitude on the C. On the X, it's given by M2 times the sine of 30. That angle is given right here, in case you didn't see it. And it comes out to be 15. However, it's negative. So 15i. And in the Y, it's given by M2 times the cosine of 30. And that is equal to 26 and it's positive because it's going on the positive y direction so it's plus 26 in the j now that you have m1 and m2 this becomes very easy let me go add a new layer the resultant moment is given by m1 plus m2 so you add the i's with the i's the j's with the j's and the k's with the k's and you should get that this is equal to negative 5.27 in the i plus 62.3 in the j minus 13.7 in the k. Now, what you need to do, because they're asking you for the magnitude and the coordinate direction angles, so what you need to do is you need to find the magnitude. And the magnitude is simply given by the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. So 5.27 square plus 62.3 square plus 13.7 square, all square rooted. 
you plug it into your calculator and it should be the nice neat number that is 64. So that's the magnitude. And I need to find the coordinate direction angles, which are simply given by the cosine inverse of the x over the magnitude, the y over the magnitude, and the c over the magnitude. And once you plug these numbers into your calculator, remember, when you plug in the x and the c, you got to still do it with a negative sign, otherwise you're going to get the wrong angle. You're going to get these angles, 94.7 degrees, 13.2 degrees, and 102.4 degrees. So, final answer for the magnitude and the coordinate direction angles. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.